Bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Come on, if you're joining us on tonight and you will bless the Lord with us, just begin to give him praise. Just begin to give him honor. Facebook, YouTube, and the sanctuary. Just begin to lift up your voices and give praises unto our God, for he is worthy, he is mighty, he is faithful, and there is nobody like him on tonight. And we do not count it robbery to rob God of his praise on tonight. So come on, I know it's been a hard day, but if you can, just begin to give him praise, just to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Say, God, I love you. For this is the day that he has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it on this Tuesday night. We want to welcome you on tonight. Welcome Facebook land, YouTube land, and in the sanctuary for sharing with us once again for our Tuesday night Bible study. We're excited for the word of the Lord that will come on tonight, but we thank you and don't count it robbery that you chose to be with us on tonight. You could have been anywhere, but we thank you for choosing Faith Community Church International to share with us for our Tuesday night Bible study on tonight. Amen. Come on one more time. Give God praise wherever you are on tonight. We're going to take a moment. We're going to move right into our profession and our statement of confession on tonight. We know how this goes. I will will say it and you will repeat after me and we will declare some things in our lives on tonight. Amen. So here we go. I intentionally decree and boldly declare that this is the year of the other side. Luke 8, 22 affirms what I believe about my personal life and everyone directly connected in covenant with me. My mind is being transformed and my thoughts are being elevated. I have an other side mentality. I am determined that none of my delays Denials or disruptions will prevent my due season. This is my season of restoration. Every year I've lost, every year of mistakes, and every year of waste, God is recycling for this year's opportunities. I receive all my promises from God. I anticipate accelerated success. Creativity is my compass, and witty inventions are my destination. God has fortified my faith to obtain miracles. My faith accomplishes the impossible. My faith is contagious. With excellence, every assignment from God, I will totally complete and finish. The other side guarantees a double portion. Wealth and riches are a magnet to my obedience unto God. I possess a grace for giving. The other side anointing 
generates blessings to elevate others and my church. This is due season for Faith Community Church International. My church will possess the land, occupy regions, spread the gospel, and plant churches by the leadership of the Holy Spirit. My confession and our profession will come to pass in Jesus' name. And everyone believes said, amen, amen, amen. It is so. We have made our profession and confession on tonight. And you can believe that God will pull off everything that he has said in your life on tonight. Amen. Come on, somebody just type amen on tonight. So we're going to get ready to receive the word of the Lord. It's always an exciting time to be able to sit at the Lord's table and hear a word from heaven on tonight. So we are excited for the word that will come forth on tonight. We want you to stay tuned. We want you to get your pen, your paper, make preparations to receive the word as we receive God's word on tonight. Thank you, Pastor Roslyn. Hallelujah for this wonderful, warm introduction on tonight. This is Bible Study Faith Community Church. Can we just for a moment before we get into Bible study, can we just lift up the name of Jesus? Can we tell God how good he's been to us? Can we just magnify? Can we glorify his name? Can we just lift up our hands just for a brief moment just to say thank you, Lord, for being so good, for being so great, for being so kind, for being so merciful to us on today, God. We just glorify you on today, God. We magnify you, God. We exalt you on high because you alone are worthy, God, worthy of all our praise. You're worthy of our glory, God. Thank you for all your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name for yet another Tuesday night Bible study. And we give you thanks and we give you praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'd also like to first say give an honor to God, who's my Lord and who's my Savior. I'd also like to thank in the absence of our pastor, Pastor Ronnie T. Northam Jr. and Prophetess Ebony Northam. Thank, I thank them for allowing me to just stand um, in the gap for them on this Tuesday night Bible study. And I am just so... Um, is just so appreciative of that the trust and the love that they put in me and I thank God for giving me such a word in this season on tonight and I just give you thanks and I just give um a shout out to everyone that's listening under the sound of my voice, whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on YouTube, whether you're in your homes, whether you're in your cars, whether you're just leaving work. We just give you thanks for tuning in to this wonderful Bible study on tonight. Amen. And to God be the glory. So I won't delay um, our Bible study tonight. It's going to be coming from that very familiar, this is really one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible or chapters. And this is coming from Deuteronomy chapter 28. And since this is Bible study, I am going to be reading more than I normally read, but we're going to start at verse 1. And it reads, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of the ground, and the fruit of the cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. 
The Lord shall cause his, thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. Verse 8. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thine hand unto. He shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself. And he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in all his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by thy name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruits of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to be given. Verse 12. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in this season, and to bless all the work of thine hands, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just bless you. We honor you, God. We thank you in Jesus' name. Let your anointing just fall afresh on me. Let your anointing just be in this word, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, as you gave, has given me revelation as to what to speak to your people, what to deposit in them, what they need to hear. God, I just pray right now that every person under the sound of my voice will be listening intently, God. Oh, God, that they will listen with a purpose, God, that they will listen, God, because you have commanded these words to be spoken in their lives on tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, God. And I pray, God, that you would just hide me and I would just decrease and you increase, Lord. And so I just give you thanks on tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen and amen. And I know we read a lot on tonight, but I really want to focus on verses 1, 2, and verses 12. And if I really had to give this a title tonight, I think it will be fitting with our theme. This is my season. This is my season. Now, I want everybody that under the sound of my voice, I want you to declare and decree that this is my season. You got to know it. You got to feel it all the way down in the pits of your stomach that this is my season that the Lord has declared. As we end up in 2021, the year of the other side, it seems that there have been many highs. There have been surmountable lows, ups and downs for the body of Christ. The enemy has attacked so many in our congregation with unexplainable sicknesses, diseases, deaths, marital, and don't count the family issues as well. Today, with our statement of profession and confession, let us declare that this is still the year of the other side. Everything God has ordained, it is shall come to pass. So tonight, I ask you, what is your it that you want to come to pass? God says, I put my guarantee stamp of approval that it shall come to pass. Now, I got to repeat that because it may have just flew by, but I don't want it to just fly by. I want you to meditate, and I want this to just to seep in your spirit. God says, I put my guaranteed stamp of approval that it shall come to pass. It doesn't matter if you declare that it shall come to pass in January, February, March, August, 
October, or even if you're still declaring it in December, it shall come to pass. So no matter which month of the year, God has declared it shall come to pass. And again, our statement of profession and confession is our declaration of agreement with God that it shall come to pass. Before we just get all excited and start shouting, just because I delivered that word, it shall come to pass. Oh, it shall come to pass. And now you are feeling it in your sha-na-na, as uh, Willie Moe Jr. says. But there are some conditions that must be met before all of this can take place. The first condition, if you read in the first verse, after and it shall come to pass the first word is if if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the lord thy god the word if serves a double purpose it can be either used as a conjunction or as a noun it is most commonly though used as a conjunction because it can connect two clauses to form a single sentence by presenting the conditional clause, if. We know right away that there are some things we must do in order to meet God's approval. First, if we listen earnestly and continuously, we will receive what it is that he wants us to do. This scripture tells us not to listen to other voices, but there is only one voice that we should be listening to, and that is the voice of God. And he says, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto my voice, this scripture, hearken diligently to the voice of God, says that God is in control. Why? Because God's voice is the supreme authority throughout the universe. As the supreme authority, he will eliminate all of the ifs in our lives. It is his voice that the heavens and the earth was created. It is his voice where the worlds were formed. It is his voice that said, let there be light, and there was light. It is his voice that said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And it is his voice that said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together under one place. So saints, there is no other voice that is more powerful than God's voice. So do not confuse God's voice with those other little gods out here. The scripture says we must hearken diligently. When we hearken diligently, these are some things that we do. We must continually intentionally seek and make every effort to listen to our God faithfully. We must intentionally listen diligently to God. We surrender our will as a sign of obedience. When we intentionally listen diligently to the voice of God, we get clarity over every situation. You don't need to wonder because he makes it plain and he makes it clear. When you intentionally hearken diligently to God's voice, you understand specific instructions that he gives you in your due season. We are charged to only listen to one voice, and that one voice is the voice of God. The second appeal that God wants us to know tonight, and that condition is to observe and to do all his commandments. 
God wants us to know we are required to carry out all his commandments as a sign of obedience. Not my will, but thine will be done. Anything God wants, anything God asks us to do, we should do it without question. Are you one to question God about everything? God wants us to make every effort to just listen. In fact, God, in this situation, in this scripture, only wants to have a monologue and not a dialogue. I know that there are some parents out there that are listening to me, and you're probably clapping your hands at your children. You're probably saying, yes, I just want you to listen to me. Don't give me no feedback. Don't say nothing. Just listen to me. And it's the same way on your job. If your boss is talking to you and he's, or he or she is telling you something and they are saying, just listen, I will give you the instructions. I'll tell you where to go. That's the way God is. He wants us to listen. Can you imagine or have you ever had a conversation with someone that ignored you? Didn't you find them a little bit annoying? Imagine how God feels when we ignore him. When we listen to God, we don't need to come up with a master plan to fix our lives because God wrote the master plan. When we listen to God, we gain wisdom, we gain knowledge, and we gain understanding for every plan, for every purpose, and every provision for our lives. In other words, you get clarity about the why. I don't know about you, but I'm always with a why. So to help us observe and to do all us commandments God asks us to do, we must first fear him with reverence because of his supreme authority. We should acknowledge who God is. We all know he's Elohim, God our creator. We also know he is El Shaddai, Adonai, God Almighty. We also know that he's Jehovah Jireh. He is our provider. We also know him to be, oh, Jehovah Rapha, the God that healeth thee. We also know him to be Jehovah Nisi. He is our banner. He's our Lord. He's our help in the name of Jesus. So good news today. Because of our obedience as God's chosen people and we're listening, we are promised with a life of abundant blessings. The scripture states, the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all of the nation. That means, saints, your name will be great above all the nation. Everywhere you go, people will call you blessed. Everywhere you go and you encounter people, you will have unmerited favor towards them. God will set you up above all well-connected nations, kings, queens, or principalities because he is the only God. Obedience will cause goodness and mercy to follow you like a compass all the days of your life. Let me say that again. Obedience will cause goodness and mercy to follow you like a compass all the days of your life. In other words, goodness, goodness and mercy will find you no matter where you are. Are. It will track you down. Saints, that is good news on tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God reminds us again that if thou shalt hearken diligently unto my voice and to observe and to do all that he has commanded us to do, God said, I will cause another whirlwind of blessings to fall off on you a whirlwind of blessings to fall on you. 
So verse 3 through 13, we read, it describes all of these blessings that will come up on you. Hallelujah. So when you have the time, go back and read all these blessings that God has promised that will be like a whirlwind. They will find you in the midst of wherever you are. God doesn't want us to just be blessed. He wants those blessings to overtake us, to overpower us. These blessings will be, will be like as honey, as a honeycomb dripping all over you. You will have so many blessings coming to you at the same time. They'll be coming from the north, the south, the east, and the west. In other words, everywhere your feet tread upon, you will have blessings and you will walk in favor. Now, saints, that's the kind of God we serve, an all-powerful God. Now, I can honestly share a little story with you right now. I know what it feels like for something to overtake you. But this is something that overtook me in the wrong direction because I was disobedient. But I know what it feels like when something overtakes you. So as a child growing up, I grew up on a farm. Some of you have heard this story before, and there may be others tuning in has never heard this story before. But just indulge me for a few minutes, and you will see why. Um, so my father had a beehive growing up. And he told all of us to never go in his beehive, never mess with the beehive. He never explained why. He just said, do not do it. So in other words, he was just having a monologue like God with us. He said, just do as I say and not as I do. Okay? So one particular day, my parents decided to leave. And my brothers coerced me into going into the beehive. Now, I don't know why I allowed them to coerce me because I'm the oldest and I should have been telling them what to do and not the other way around. But anyway, they told me, Alex, let's go get some bee. Let's go get some honey from the beehive. And I listened to them. Now, my father had this whole, like, it's like a spaceship. He had this whole uniform that you put on to protect yourself when you're going into the beehive. He had the head piece. He had the face piece. He had the whole piece, the boots and the gloves and everything. Now, mind you, as a child, see, this is what disobedience would cause. I put on everything that I saw except the head piece. And so this is what happened. I stick my hand in there to reach out and grab one of those honeycombs. And guess what? The bees come flying, stinging me all in my face, all over my face. I'm screaming. They're laughing at me like it is funny. My eye instantly swole up so big that I could not see out of it. So though, in other words, the story is, that is something that that's how it feels to overtake you. You can't run from it. You can't get away from it. I could not get away from them bees. Once I opened up that door, those bees were flying on me. They said, oh, that's some sweet honey right there. And they just attacked me with everything that they had in me. So kids out there, listen to your parents. Do not be disobedient because it will cause you more problems. Trust me, I promise you. So all I'm saying is to listen to your father because fathers knows best. I want to be blessed by the best. Do you? God's blessings can continue for days, weeks, months, and even years. His supply is endless and they never, ever run out. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Our blessings. This is our season, and it is here, and it is time for you to receive your blessings. Saints, put your running shoes on because you're going to run and want to tell somebody. This is our season because God says it shall come to pass. We read that in the Bible. 
And these are some of the things that I know shall come to pass if only you believe. Healing shall come to pass. Debt deliverance shall come to pass. Finding your calling in this ministry shall come to pass. Financial freedom that flows throughout our communities and our families, it shall come to pass. Family restoration, it shall come to pass. Every promise God has covenant with you, it shall come to pass. When God speaks, he always backs it up with a word. Every time God speaks, this is what happens. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God said, let the earth bring forth grass, herb, yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit. Hebrews 4.12 declares, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. The text shares obedience will cause God to open up his good treasure. God's good treasure is God's most valuable and precious gift. God always gives his best so we can be blessed and have the best. That is why not everyone will receive his good treasure. God's gifts cannot, and let me emphasize, God's gifts cannot be purchased. They can only be earned out of his love. So today, I just want to share just a few small points to all this scripture and this text. Three small points but they're powerful. The first one says, listen to the voice of God. This is what happens when you listen to the voice of God. When you listen to his voice, you get clear, concise, and specific instructions to follow. When you listen to his voice, everything is on the table. There is nothing hidden, Everything is revealed. There will never be any confusion as to what God is saying. You can never fail when you listen to God. The second point, God is direct. How many know God is direct? He always lets you know what to do. He always lets you know what he is thinking also. He never keeps anything from us. You always know where you stand with God. You never have to guess what he's thinking. And thirdly, God is a giver. He makes sure everybody has everything they need to prosper. His gifts are unexplainable and unimaginable. He makes you feel loved and special. His gifts goes above and beyond. There are no comparison to God's giving. This is how today I want you to know that you can apply this word about this is my season. Let obedience be the source of everything you do. Like any good father, God is our protector. He will never leave us astray. He will always tell you the truth about everything. Let God lead and you will find peace. Let God show you his plan, his purpose, and his provision. That way, you won't need to manufacture something not ordained by him. Many may attempt to lead you down to destruction, but God will never, ever do that. Do not be easily taken in by others. Once you get to know God's voice, you can easily detect a fraud. God's audible voice can sometimes be soft. 
It can be medium or it can be loud, depending on your circumstances and if you are listening to him. Either way, God would always be there when you are ready to listen. We are always on his mind, even when we are not thinking about him. He is always thinking about us. Before you make any decisions in life, always ask God, what does he think about the situation? And he will respond with clear directions. You will not have to doubt. Then wait and listen to what he says and accept his answer. Accept his answer is the key. So as we celebrate the closing and the ending of 2021, I just want to leave you with this. This last month, this is your season. It does not matter if it wasn't, like I said earlier, manifested in all the other 11 months. But as long as you continue to believe God, this is your season you will have the season that God has planned for you. So let's celebrate today. Let's celebrate that this is my season. And let's celebrate this has been the year of the other side. We are on the other side. We are not where we used to be. I thank God for all of his grace and all of his mercy. I give him praise for God just, just having favor, unmerited favor over my life and over this church and over all the ministries in this church. Oh, God has been so faithful. He's been so kind. He's been so loyal to this ministry ministry and we give him show Judah and we Shabbat him on tonight and I just want to thank him for giving us the opportunity to remind us tonight that this is your season hallelujah you got to believe that deep down in your heart this is my season don't look at the circumstances look at God and see won't God do it see won't he manufacture something that you didn't even see coming in the name of Jesus give him all the glory and the honor and the praise in advance because God is a God that will not lie. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. If he said it in this year, he's going to do it. You name and you declare and you decree that thing, what God has said. May you be blessed and may God keep you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, God, we just thank you on tonight, God. We praise your holy name for this word, God. We thank you, God, that this is our season. Whatever our it is is God. It shall come to pass. Whatever I, it is God in the name of Jesus. We let you know what is, what it is that we want God for you to do and move in the, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you in Jesus' name, God, that we can, we can come to you, God, with all of our petitions and we cast all our cares upon you, God, for you truly care for us, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, do we magnify your name, God, because you are good and you are good all the time, God. You are very good, and you've been very good to each and every one of us, God. Thank you, God, that we are still here, and this is December the 7th, and we are still here. We are still standing, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And so we thank you, and we give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh, we thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you. And even as, before I go to my seat, I would just like to open up the doors. There, there, may some, there may be someone that's listening to the sound of my voice that um, has been struggling, been wrestling with some things, and you're not saved, and, and, and you're tired of your situation, and you're tired of uh, your life, and you're just tired of everything that's going on in your life. So I just, um, just offer you Jesus on tonight. He is the answer. He's the reason for the season, but he's also the answer. He's the perfect gift that God has for you and you and you. So won't you invite him into your heart? Won't you invite him into your life? It is extremely simple. Um, all you got to do is confess it. All you got to repeat after me, if thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. That's Romans 10 verses 9 and 10. 
Amen. Amen to God be the glory. And then also, maybe somebody has been looking for a good church, and you've even visited us. You've visited us, and you're not quite certain if you really, is that the church for me? God is saying tonight, yes, that is the church for me. So stop being wavering back and forth and back and forth. God said, make a decision. Declare and decree that what I want, it shall come to pass, and is that Faith Community Church International. We are a loving church. We are a kind church. Our pastors are anointed and gifted. We have an awesome ministry here. And so you will be loved on. You will be fed. You will be edified in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on and clap your hands for that word on tonight. Come on, give God praise for his word on tonight. His word shall never return unto him void. And we thank God for the opportunity just to receive on tonight. That word, I hope it challenged you, encouraged you, uplifted you. Whatever you are in need of on tonight, we pray that that word met your need on tonight. Come on, give God praise. Shout God praise in the sanctuary. Shout God praise online, Facebook, and YouTube. You can say hallelujah unto the Lord and thank him for the word on tonight. It was truly blessed. And I hope that you can eat off of that word for the rest of the week. Somebody say the rest of the week, the rest of the week on tonight. We also want to give opportunity for you to give and to sow on tonight. We don't take it lightly when you are in support of our ministry, in support of showing God that you love him and you support what he is doing here at Faith Community Church. Well, we want to make opportunity for you to give on tonight. We have several giving methods. They're going to be listed on our screen. You can give via Cash App, dollar sign, FCC, 1998. You can go to our website. Our website is www.faithforecast.com. You can mail in your gifts or you can bring them by our Durham location at 4903 North Roxborough Road here in the Bull City, Durham, North Carolina. Again, we thank you for supporting this ministry and thank you for tuning in on tonight and sharing with us for our Tuesday night Bible setting. You can come back on Sunday at 11 a.m. and we will enjoy the presence and the word of the Lord once again. Again, we thank you for joining us on tonight on behalf of our pastor, Pastor Ronnie T. Northam Jr., our co-pastor, Prophetess Ebony Northam. We thank you for joining us. Have a blessed week week.